Hi, I'm Scott at Scott's Computer Repair. Welcome to one of my another of my Windows 10 installations. It's going to be an installation for the Asus S400 CA. The question is how I'm going to do it because it doesn't have a ROM. That's a USB flash drive. Something like this. Okay. Uh, basically, um, you gotta, you're going to go to the link below to create it from the Microsoft website. To download the tool to create the USB flash drive I do have a link in my description for that so all you gotta do is go I got videos how to do it too a video how to do it so you can look at the video to how to do it so you download the tool and you want to put the 32-bit or 64-bit version on it as a computer or both um, I recommend you get at least an 8 gig or higher of a flash drive or thumb drive you want to, what you want to call it for you so that way you have enough room for it to put on this is a 16 gig that's plenty of room for what i need it for so okay basically you want to go ahead if you got it done made go ahead and you want to put it in your usb port on the side just like so okay and once you're ready to go you certainly turn the laptop on you want to tap escape key on the keyboard until the boot menu comes up Like that, then you want to take your go down to select the uh, flash drive. Like it's mine, it's a sand disk, so it does it, that's what my brand is. Whatever brand you got, uh, it, it should show up like what it is. Once you uh, select it, hit enter and press enter, and it'll come up any key, or actually, I'll select actually, not any key. Uh, you want to select what version you want. This is going to take 64 bit, so I want the 64 bit version. Just hit enter. Which will start loading. Mind you, this is a Windows 8 laptop. You won't need the product key to uh, enter on this because the product key is built in on the system. Okay, make sure everything's correct. Make sure your language is to install, type of currency and format, and keyword layout. Normally it's default, and go ahead and leave it where it is, and just click next. You can go ahead and click install now. Alright, want to click the accept the license terms. And click next. Then you want to click custom install windows only in advance. Okay. We're going to have to select each partition individually. If um, you don't have a corrupted re uh, factor reset, I'll remind you, if we delete the recovery on this, this one has a corrupted recovery, so there's no, I can't recover it back to Windows 8. Because uh, when they upgraded to Windows 10, it screwed it up. So basically, if I said if you didn't have, if you don't, if you haven't done it yet to, up, to upgrade to 10 and try to revert it back to uh, Windows 10, 8, and enough, and it's still got like, Windows 8 on it. Mind you, if you remove the recovery drive, you're not gonna be able to go back to Windows 8 regardless. So think it over clearly, okay? So all right, and uh, if any files like pictures, documents, music, video, movies, whatever you have on there, will be erased. So I recommend if you can back them up before you do this, okay? Because you won't be able to retrieve them again after you do all this. So if you can, put them on a, a separate drive like a thumb or a flash drive that back them up. You can put back on later, okay? All right, all right. Let's cut. Let's we'll select each partition. First one. You want to click that and then click delete. Then click OK. Go to the second one. Click delete. Click OK. Go to the second one again. Click delete. Click OK. I just keep on repeating it until you get down to none whatsoever.
Oh, be careful. The part, uh, part to drive, drive one, don't delete any of that because <laughs> that's your flash and thumb drive. Okay? <laughs> you don't want to delete that. All right, just leave it be where it is. Don't touch the drive one partitions. You want to leave those be because that's your thumb and flash drive. You don't want to touch them at all. Okay? The drive zero on an ADK space. You want to select that. Make sure you have that one selected. And then you want to click new. Apply. Okay. And click OK. That should create your OS, uh, partition for your OS and cache. And priority recovery. Okay. And leave it right where it is. Don't move, don't select anything else. Just click next. After that's done. And then it begins. Okay. All right. At this point, you want to go ahead and try and select your Wi-Fi. Once you if you find it, nor is the strongest strength of bars. You can see the bars right here. Okay. Um, this is mine right here. Just go ahead and click it. Your Wi-Fi. Once you find it, enter your security key. Your security key usually is found on the modem or router, unless you made your own security key. So if you have it written down or memorized it, I'll go ahead and put it in. And after you're done, just click next. When you get to this, go ahead and click use express settings. Okay, if you have a Microsoft account, go, if, go ahead and sign into it. If not, create one. If you don't want to do either one of those, go ahead and click the skip this step down here. Click that. Go ahead and type in the name of your choosing. Password is not required. If you're ready and all done, just click next. Go ahead and click use Cortana. Okay, that's pretty much how you install Windows 10 on this Asus S400CA. Okay, uh, basically you want to check a few things for you complete the. Uh, Think you're finished, but you're not really not. Okay, this will start. We gotta find out what devices need to be installed. Windows, if Windows updates don't pick them up, I will provide the links below. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead. I want to go down to to the start menu. You want to click start. Then you want to click settings. Okay, we'll go. We want to click devices. Then you want to, uh, right here. You can use the scroll bar, scroll down, and click device manager at the bottom. There's quite a few devices that needs to be installed here, and I bet you the display driver too. Yep, it's got a generic driver. All right, basically, hopefully, Windows updates will pick up all these drivers. And for you, if not, I will provide the links below in the description to for these drivers, and so you can install them. All right, okay. You can go ahead and exit this, exit that, 
and you want to go back down to the start menu and you want to click the setting the gear thing it might look different but it should say settings right there click the settings then you want to click uh, you want to scroll down to the bottom here and go, and go to window uh, updates and security click that and you want to click check for updates Notice date and time is off on there. I'll fix that later. And as you see, there's updates for the computer. All right. As I said, I will. If there's any drivers that need to be put in the device manager, I will provide the links in the description. Um, if any questions for the for this, just leave your comments below. If I can help you as much as I can on that, and um, if you like that, if this find this video helpful. Please like and subscribe. As I said, I'll get back to you. I'll get to your comments as soon as I can. Usually it's pretty quick. So I'm usually right there, right away. So if any help, just leave a comment below and uh, like and subscribe. All right. Uh, thank you for watching my video, and you all have a good day.